Hi everyone and welcome to Painter 2019. In this video I would like to cover a couple of things regarding the stamp brushes and those couple of things would be is uh, would have to do with how that we're using them um, as far as a layer or a stroke attribute up here. And before I go on I'd just like to say you can access these panels by going to window and brush control panels and finding them. I recommend opening them both when you're working with the stamps. These are pretty basic brushes as far as just being a shape. However, the way that they're best used is by kind of either in an overlay mode or a multiply or a screen. Um, you can kind of choose. This, this time around we'll kind of focus on the overlay since that's kind of a basic, probably most used um, uh, kind of form that they, they'll, they'll be used in. So let's go ahead and look at why that we would use each one. Um, in the stroke attributes, you can kind of choose what it's going to come out, you know, whether it's just, you know, a colorize or uh, maybe an overlay. There are very subtle differences to each one, but as most of you might know, each one has kind of its own intention and purpose uh, f for the, you know, creative process. Um, in this, in, in, in this kind of workflow, what I recommend the most though is not to um, change this, although you can, but to add a layer and choose what layer type it is. You know, most of you probably know how to do that, but let's look at why. Because that when that I go ahead and lay this stamp down on its own layer, what I can do is I can take an eraser and, you know, go through the erasers. I recommend just kind of uh, look through them and find which one is best for you and softly back out of it in the areas that, you know, for, for the sake of 3D or realism, a fade. Maybe if you're using one of the more mechanical ones, such as the airplane tampograph, um, you can use, I was playing with a speckled eraser and you can kind of back out and make it kind of aged or faded by whatever it might have been through. Uh, you know, that's of course not just realistic, but adds that sense of depth to your image while that you're placing these stamps. Anyways, that's how I recommend that you use these best instead of just placing a hard shape down. I'm really excited to see what people do with these and where I might see them kind of hidden in people's pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.